There was just like a very small drum line in the background there. There was, I couldn't tell if it was part of the game or not. <laughs> but no, it it's belongs sort of like there. elevatory music. Yeah, right it there. is. Okay, See? so anyway. Hey, hey, hey. Oh yeah. There's the characters. Now the last four are the ones that you only get from. Um, yeah. Like that's that's the dwarf. That's, that's probably the elf. Elf pirate, the lordran lady, and the. The should do. Should do. So you get so, two more mainline party members. One sort of looks like an elf guy, or not an elf guy, but like he just has his hair. Hey, isn't that actually the guy that we spoke with earlier? Yeah, probably. B Riso or Biso or whatever his name was. Yeah, maybe. That posture looks the same. Yeah, and then there's this guy who looks kind of more roguish, and he's got like a goatee. Well, let's get going. Venture forth. Okay, so we got a couple of quests that we want to finish off before they get, um, before we get too far in the game. So let's start with uh, the bilge wash. A good place to look for Palpatine Pal stones. Uh, Pal Warning, there will be more. Palorati. I think that's Pal Palorati. Going with Palpatine stones. Venture forth. A good place to look for uh, Palpatine. Oh yeah, we already. Palorati. Yeah. Palorati. I think it's just the L R L that messes things up. <laughs> Defeat all enemies, win the battle without using the signature skills, and land all the finishing strikes with the same character. Okay, so these are these are Merkman. Those are the Dagon. You know, oh, that, his name is just Dagon. So he's a Merkman. Look at that frog! <sighs> So they get to act immediately after dodging. Bloated. Cannot move. Slimy goo. An intense stare. Is it just a turret of some sort if it can't More move? More or less, yeah. But it might have crazy range. Now who's that guy in the back? He's different than the others. He's like... Merkman Shaman. Shaman. Yeah, Poison he... spit. Noctuous slime. And croak. Croak. Okay. They're frog people. Well. With the aid of frogs. Let's just try this. We should be fine. Win the battle without using signature skills. That's a bit rough. And use the same character to kill everyone. Yeah. Or, yeah. I, I'll give it a go. We'll see what I can do. Oh wait, I just used a signature skill. Okay, uh, I'll try the finishing blows thing, but signature skill, uh, I'm not gonna commit to. It's already too late. Now, yes. What's too late? A signature skill thing. Oh, you you just put shields on him. Yeah. I forgot that you, that was a thing. You messed it up, okay. Is this too far? Yeah. I'm gonna go right here. Those are actually the stones that they're practicing on. Oh yeah, so they are. And we're gonna murder them to yep. claim them. Happens. Isn't that, wouldn't that be terrible if she's like, I want to study these yes, creatures yes. and take their stones for analysis? Oh yeah, but you're gonna have to kill a lot of them in the process, and then you find out that you permanently doomed their species because you killed the only remaining like females or males, and then it's like, oh okay. Well, looks like they're gone. Yeah. Man, they're like far creepier versions of my D&D &D character. And more frog-like rather than fish-like. They hurt. It's a problem, okay. For some reason that frog over there reminds me of Bella. Bella. Deals 20% of From base damage plus 5% for each bus. negative effect on targets as physical to all enemies in the area of effect. Blinded for two turns. Damage dealt by Theo is transformed into shield. Okay. 50% of base damage is ice to a target. Apply silence to the target for one turn and empowers himself for two turns. Dark Harvest is crazy pure damage. Victimized 
to a target in range. Okay, so we yeah, we gotta figure out a way of uh getting more status effects on these things. So I wanna do captivating gaze. Maybe. Um Oh. That's neat. Okay, so that silences him. Less dangerous. And I'm curious what bat swarms like. Okay, let's see. Does it have range? It does. <laughs> oh, jeez. Wooey. That's some serious range on that thing. Oh, and they go first. Uh oh. Oh, because they're they've that been. That was quite the kick. Yeah. Oh, and she's gone. Yeah, they do a lot of damage. Maybe you're not prepared for this. No, I am. I was just not taking it uh, nearly as seriously as I should have been. Now. Well, we'll be fine. No. Mm -mm. Not really. Okay, let's reload and try again. Um, This time, let's hang out in the corner. I'm going to let them come to me. Because you think then the frog won't be able to blurt on you? Yeah, maybe. Um, Are you sure you don't want to go to the archives and get the... Uh... I mean, we're going to be doing all of them. Okay. So it doesn't really matter what order we go in. It's just a matter of not losing anybody because we don't have a camp. Mm-hmm. I mean, we can try it if you want me to. That was the one of the first ones you had gotten. Yeah, that's true. So... Okay. The Ionian Archives. Ingeni Gen Ungenial General Part 2. Where whole colonies of papers live well beyond their expectancy. General Igorsi's death certificate should be around here somewhere. Using hearsay and directions from the locals, you managed to track down an abandoned monastery that once served as an archive for priests of Ionius. This one in particular was supposed to keep funerary records of the region, which is exactly what you need right now. Enter. You enter the archives without much ado. Though sealed shut in the past, the building now stands wide open. It seems like a miracle that it wasn't completely picked clean by every single vagabond to pass by. Then again, maybe dusty stacks of dead names aren't exactly the most valuable prizes. You find yourself before a circular, circular vault, its cobweb-covered shelves filled to the brim with yellowed scrolls and ledgers. Is, uh, it was a Gorsi. Yeah, so G to M. Mm-hmm. You approach the G to M section of the archive. So you have Gandling R, Kleinberg I, Letter M, Mites P, Mustachio P. Whoa, 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 wait. So it, that almost looks like last name, first name. It's not there. Maybe. Let's try Kleinberg I. Yeah, Kleinberg uh, Igorsky. Cause of death? Crashed into cardboard boxes during a charge. Put it, but wait, no, that's him. Take the file. You grab the death certificate of Igorsi Kleinberg, now a zombie general. What the undead man has told you checks out, at least to a degree. There was once a certain Lord Relneth, just as there was in the heated conflict between the two men. However, General Igorsi died during the decisive battle, having inexplicably inexplicably crashed into a random pile of cardboard boxes. Amazingly, this fact is somehow not elaborated upon. Okay, the other one is Lord Relneth. Let's see if we can get his. Oh, Well, I guess. you only needed his. You needed okay. to prove that he was dead. Bizarre death circumstances aside, the certificate provides an extensive amount of irrefutable insight. It should be proof enough to convince the general that he is indeed dead. Oh, well, that was short. All right. But do you have to go back to where he was? Yeah, we got to go back up here to Gorsi's army. Still lying in wait and still very much dead. We'll do that probably after. We only have a couple of days left. Okay. And let's try the bilge wash again. I mean, the other option is we... I would have liked to have finished that quest line. I mean, he might have gone but mad Shell, and it takes you. It takes time to move from, day, from, from map place point to, to place. map point. I see. So, absolutely not. Okie doke. Okay, so let's test their range a bit here. Uh, 
Okay. Leave this to me. So let's boost. Oh wait, wait, wait. that's that's the signature skill. I'm gonna be using signature skills because it's harder than it looks. Okay. But I, I'm, I'm not even sure if I'm gonna get any of the bonus objectives. Honestly, we'll live. Whoa, they're floating. Well, the shaman floats. Yeah. On the prowl. Let's get dangerous. Okay, so we want to do Blazing Barrier. If I can put it right there, that's perfect. The that way, mm -hmm. anybody coming this direction is we going to get now. torchled. Yes. Uh, do Enrage. That'll help. Okay. Ah, <sighs> oh, they walked around it. They're smart. Do you know what I bet it's? I bet it's because she was in the next square over. Yeah. Rather than directly in front of her, you know. Yep. Well, there's not much I could have done about that, honestly. Okay, let's do. Yeah, let's see what his moves are. Captivating gaze. Yeah, it looks like he's not locked in. Locate, uh, position-wise, we missed, but we did empower ourselves. Uh, is that because he can appear and disappear at will? Yeah, he can teleport. He hit them. Yeah, I think the Arthur, the Merc Frog, has unlimited yes. range. They actually named him after Arthur. I, was... huh? Wait, what? No, that was most definitely an episode of the Magic School Bus. So it had nothing to do with Arthur. I'm not sure I follow, but that's okay. Don't you remember the frog episode of the Magic School Bus? Nope. Oh. It's been years enough that I forget, and I saw like oh, Let's go. a ton of episodes. Yeah. Yeah, I saw far too many episodes. So it's a little bit beyond my remembering. Ah, uh, did get caught up in some of the flames. Yeah, he's at the very least going to um, stand in it. Did he poison one of his own guys? No, he. It's a AOE evasion zone. I'm gonna blast him specifically. There we go. He should die on his next turn. Yes, my friend. Mm -hmm. Okay, victimize dark harvest. We don't have any negative effects on these guys to begin with. Mm-hmm. So I'll do some amount. I guess I'll just hit this guy. Holy crap damage. Nice. Hmm. Your banks could use a trim. Blurf. I mean, really, he's just repeatedly... Oh, no, I guess he... He poisoned K. Yep. Fortunately, she's stunned. She's doing okay. Just like get out. her with a little bit more. I think Alice will be fine. Just flame move. on. Thank you. Ah, it was moving through the flames. Let it flow. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna do a dumb thing. I don't know if this is gonna work. Oh, but she has really high fire resistance. <sighs> He's going for K. I was really hoping it would follow her. No. Maybe. I noticed most enemies tend to just go for whomever's closest. Yep, the nearest. Instead of having, like, actual tactics. Which I guess works. See, so this guy's it's almost too bad dead. she isn't fire immune. That'd be pretty cool. Well, I, but she only took, like, 60 damage, where most enemies take, like, tons. Mm hmm. So. I think it's okay. Ar oh! Arthur! Oh no! Whoa! And it knocks you back too! Yep. So, that's the one Come drawback on. for Theo's movement system here. Uh, I realize. Can I? Sweet. Um, yeah, and it can't move, so it'll take damage every turn. Will it take twice as much because there are two fireballs on it? Or No. Meh? Well, sort of. It takes half as much. As a result, it's weird. It's an interesting system. On 
on the prowl. Okay, so this guy's not that injured. In fact, hasn't been hit yet. Oh, that's okay. We do a ton of damage. Yeah, I had a commenter say that the the challenge, the little challenges aren't actually as important as you think they are. Mm hmm. Which is good to know. So I'm going to see if I can get every finishing blow with Theo. Let's see. So this guy has one negative effect. Make it two. Bonus. Uh. Alright. There it goes. Okay, yeah, so Theo can only move once. Um, yeah, he only took, uh, 40 damage from that. Theo can only move once. His teleportation, uh, you can't, Let's like, go. bop around multiple times. Yeah. Even if you have leftover, uh, movement points. Which is kind of an interesting circumstance. Right it works. I mean, becoming a bunch of bats and then reforming is probably... It yes. probably takes some effort. Ish. I'm okay with it, since he since he can teleport, it seems kind of fair. Let's get dangerous. Okay, can I do? Eh, it's gonna get Signy though. Well, if I move here, there we go. Now it won't get Signy. I really like uh, tactical Let's RPGs where like large larger enemies specifically uh, have uh, like take extra damage from AOE and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. trying, to trying to remember what game it was that I was playing recently. Was it Dragon Quest? Oh, he Builders. can actually use his ultimate ability? What is it? Uh, it has something to do with uh, negative effects. Let's go. Um, let's see. So he's got a couple. Which one of these applies the most? We can slow him. Spark Banner. Okay. No, it's weakened. Yes, Can't do yes. anything else. She's silenced, on, frustratingly Light enough. Target is not in range. There we go. So, One enter. Step. So, copies one random negative ongoing effect from a target enemy to all enemies on the battlefield. Which would be really good with, like, a stun and a couple other yeah, things. Yeah, but... But that's not that useful. Dark Harvest, on the other hand, will be. Let's go over here. You just used the copy skill. Oh, so I did. Well, that's okay. <laughs> oh, Dark Harvest is, uh, melee. Well, that's useful. Yep, landed all the finishing strikes with one character. And you got the Powler Lottie Palpatine stone. stone. Give in to the frog side. Okay. Okay. So, you so have we've that. got these, but I I can't finish these in time. Okay. Oh, did that take up two days? Yeah, because we had to go one, two. One day left. Yeah. So let's upgrade a building. Or you can hand in the quest. Well, we'll hand in the quest, but I think I don't think that's going to take up any time. I'm going to save though, just in case. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that'd be cool if we just had to do one of a uh, one quest per Miri uh Miri level. Here, I uh, brought the stones. Awesome. Oh, let me see, let me see. Well, would you look at that? These are genuine, and there appear to be some common patterns between them, but that'll require some further attention. I'll get you a mention in the book for this. <laughs> this can't have been easy or pleasant. Thank you. Let's see if she has any other quests. Oh, wait, no, no, no. It's probably the wrong it's day It's probably it. going to be showtime. No, it's song day. Uh, well, remember, uh, well, doesn't she, take a day. She, Let's see if she has yeah, another quest for she us. She will have another quest for you. Maybe. Maybe. Salutations. Oh. This is a, a spend day thing. Okay. Because what oh. is her bond? Oh, what? Oh, we got to upgrade her, um, her in first. Or not her in her her shop. Her shop thing. needs to be upgraded. All right. Well, I said I was gonna upgrade a building. Okay, might as well be hers. I'll see what other uh, what other benefits we have for upgrading anything else. But if there's nothing else, then that's okay. Okay. So what happens if we upgrade this? Oh, it's maxed. Okay. Yeah. Was wondering about that. 
Oh, Pathfinder study it is. And I've got plenty of resources. Mm-hmm. And now it's it's the next Story day. Clock. Story Story time. You're here. Good. Let's see. Let's see. During the last two months, you've accomplished... Everything seems to be in order. Great success. Chapter complete. Everything seems to be in order. You've taken care of that unity business. That's Way good. Go. Congrats. Uh, Let's hope we don't have to visit those archives again. Indeed. Seconded. I'm ready for a nap. This is probably the real cutscene. Yeah. Hey there. Can I get you anything? A glass of milk for me, please. Uh, just some tea? Sure thing. <laughs> is everything all right? You seem worried, big bro. Sure I am. I'm still not convinced. About ruling Escalia? About everything so far. This all feels wrong. I'm no hero, and certainly no king. Just a guy in a wrong place at a wrong time. It's plain as daylight. Hell, even Levant can see that, and he has no eyes. But you're doing fine so far. But I can't really take credit for that, can I? It feels like you guys are doing all the heavy lifting, and I'm just a figurehead. I don't think so. Those Unity people may consider you worthless, but when they came knocking, you did everything in your power to satisfy them. Don't sell yourself short. <sighs> Look, Kay. Nobody said it was going to be easy. And even then, you're not alone. You have us. We're in this together, remember? You're right. No, you don't! Not again, mister! Now, now, surely we can talk about this. Uh, there's no need to be upset. Uh, can't you guys let this slide one last time? Huh? Yeah, I think, guess what? No! It's getting old. Just pay up, please. Ah, uh, see, uh, this might be a tad complicated. Mm -hmm. Or, uh, not. Ray, please don't hurt me. What's going on here? Oh, hello again. This strange person doesn't want to pay for his food. Ah, uh, now that's unfair. It's the fifth time, in a row. This proves nothing. But can't you just pay them? Nobody will harm you. Well, you see... You just don't have the money. Exactly. As you can see, I'm clearly the victim of this predicament. I don't think that's how it works. What are you going to do about him? Ugh, what else? Dad'll hand him over to you, right, Dad? <laughs> what? What what? Aren't you sorta of important or something? I guess I am. Uh, you are? Wait, does that mean you're Kay of House Lauren? That's me. Wonderful. In that case, I pledge myself to your service, good sir. Wait, what? My name is Diego, though I come from the House Leonor of Tevides of Armelasse, more than anything else. I'm a simple traveler, searching for his place in the world. Hearing the tales of Ascalia's revival, I decided to contribute. Is that so surprising? Actually... So, uh, what do you think about my proposal? At this point, I don't see why not. It's not like we haven't had our share of weird people already. Um, no offense, of course. Excellent! Lead the way, then. You still have to foot the bill, though. God damn it. <laughs> well, that was fast. So he's a noble himself of a different family? Ish. So, it's time, then. Yeah. How's that bald boogeyman of yours doing? Calm so far, but that's not reassuring. I agree. We need to take it up a notch from now on. Yeah, your tasks the will be... Tasks I have prepared for you are... Five plus kingdom quests and probably more quests later, but that's okay. Hi. Hop to it! Well, that was 
really easy. I was expecting there these was deadlines. Romantic. I thought that there was going to be another, like, har har, or, you know, I'm going to threaten you some more. Nope. Instead, we've got Diego, who is probably an archer. Yep, archer. 70% of base damage is physical to a target enemy. Gains six stacks Ooh. of overconfidence. Ooh. I want to see what everyone's, like, designated colors are. So K is, like, purple. K is kind of purple pink. She's kind of tan yellow. Green, blue, yellow, yellow. red. And purple purple. And, yeah, more purple purple. Okay, so... 70% of base damage is physical to a target enemy. Six User gains six stacks of overconfidence. Minus one for each tile between the user and the tar target. Overconfidence? Yeah, so if we're far enough away, we get overconfidence. Huh. Spawns a terrible dummy on the battlefield. Each turn, the dummy applies taunted for one turn to any enemy that activates within a range of Ooh, two tiles. Ooh, it's a distraction. The dummy lasts for three turns. Par shot. 60% of base damage is physical to all targets in the area Slowed. of effect. Applies slowed for one turn, plus one turn per two overconfidence stack. Oh, that's neat. So, it'd be good for him to make creatures overconfident, slow them well, down. Well, no, no, no. He uses overconfidences for himself. Okay. Um, I wonder if you can stack more than six overconfidence. Okay. Uh, Cobra Shot. 110% of base damage is physical to a target enemy. Applies poison for one turn, plus one turn for every two confidence stacks. And money shot. 80% of base damage and physical, plus 5% for each overconfidence stack. Hits all enemies in range, with the range increasing by 1 per 2 overconfidence stack. So really what you want to do is start with quick shot a bunch of times, and then start using his other abilities. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. He's neat. I'll probably use him later to some degree. Do you think he'd be even better than Alice, or...? Uh, I, I'd be willing to try him instead of Alice. Alice's fire barrier is really good. Oh, um, we want hearth fire. Let's do damage. I think this will make it so overconfidence, overconfidence lasts, lasts, longer. lasts longer if we're lucky. Yeah. Okay, that should be good. So hey, I will, do you have a better bow. I will give him a go. I do not have a better bow. Well, let's craft a better bow. Yeah, let's go craft a better bow. I was expecting something a little bit more. Um, oh, I can't. Okay. Smith has the day off, yeah. Well, then who can we speak with? Again, you're going to have to wait an entire week to speak with her again. Yeah, it's okay. At, at least we can progress with her faster. Yeah, so we'll we'll try and focus on her quest line because equipable items found after each battle have increased chances of being uncommon and rare quality. Yeah, the better stuff we can get... Uh, for free, hey, hey, the better. Can we speak with the prospector? Uh, winter? Sure. Should probably save first, though. Yeah. And I think I want to go on a walk. Yep, that sounds good. Okay, I have to put on my uh, prospecting voice. What's up? What'd you like to do? Never talk to her ever. All right, let's go. Oh god, it's Buccaneary again. I knew it's Buccaneary. Oh gosh, that was so terrible. Ah, home sweet home. Hello, my darlings. Thanks for that. Oh, right. Thank you for helping me out with my rock gathering walk. I appreciate it. Okay. No problem. Wait, it's been some time since I moved in. I suppose we'll have to get properly acquainted, right? Did you notice how it's yep. equate? Okay. I mean, you already know me, but you've never met my friends. Oh gosh, that's the rocks. Aren't they cute? This one's Steve, and this one's Jean, and this one's Brian. Say hello to Lord K, guys. Hey. Hey. She loves that. Aww. I feel like we'll all get along just fine. Boulder by the minute. But this is just the beginning. I won't let things get stale. The collections, oh, the uh, collection. I was gonna say the collection. <laughs> we're only just get bigger and better. Aren't you afraid you'll run out of space? Funny that you mention it. I've wanted to talk to you about it too. 
You don't have anything against hypothetical radical refurnishings, right? Uh, it's your house. Oh, nope. nope. <laughs> what were the other choices? I thought those were negative. And How remember. soon would probably yeah. be the best one. Well. Oh, ho, ho. You hear that, fellas? We're giving free reign. Oh, what fun we shall have together. You'll come visit from time to time, right? Great. So, uh, I'm going to go excuse myself now, okay? I still need to paint some faces for the newcomers. Here, let's paint. <gasps> You're going to paint faces on the rocks? Let's paint them together. She loves that. Wait, seriously? You'd like to? Right, right. Awesome. Let's get to it. I wonder if actually that middle option didn't have a, a three. I mean, do you want to go through it again? I, I'll go through it again. Um, just because, I mean, we can loop through things as much as we want. And is much faster. As hilarious as that voice is to do, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. I clicked on something. I don't know if you've ever... Oh. Oh. <laughs> I clicked on the right one. What's up? Okay. Well, that would be easy enough. Thanks. Okay, okay. so she's welcoming you to all the darlings. Asto. Okay. Hey. So she likes that, running out of space, refurbishes. I don't like the sound of that, it's your house or... Let's try House Sudden. Nope. She doesn't like that one at all. See ya. Yeah, okay. So what was the last, last option? I don't like the sound of that at all. So yeah, it uh the only the only good option for was that the one that we had one. chosen. Yeah. So I actually I aced it. You had aced it the first time. Yep. Uh, What's up? And look, Signy's in here too. Weird. Maybe the she's enjoying the approaches. Well, since none of the companion characters What's have up? their own houses. They cycle around. Yeah, they just go wherever they want. Which is totally random. Alright, well, I I Guess we don't need okay. to see this again. Oh, that would be easy. Clicky, enough. clicky, clicky! But oh, look at all the cute little rocks. Oh yeah, the rocks are adorable. I, I absolutely love their background art. I, I need to figure out, uh, you know, what other projects these guys make over the course of the next couple of years, because uh, they did an absolutely wonderful job with it. Right. Her little dance thing is funny. Yep. Okay, so personal bonds have grown stronger. Unfortunately, we we're need to upgrade our house before we yeah unlock the perks. Yep. And we got some other things that we can work on, but yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, ready to level up. Smithing with him probably um boosts his. Uh, oh wait, no, 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 no. We'd spent the day with him. Now that I'm thinking. We about had spent it. the day with him, but you'd also built something with him, so it's possible that it brought it up the rest of the way. We could actually do a couple of. We could. Bondy, bondy quests. We could. We could, but I want to go to walk, and I also want to make sure that this episode actually makes it onto YouTube today, because <laughs> I've been running late this week, and it's been bad. Okay. <laughs>